Greetings from Columbia, South Carolina, and welcome in to Beckham Field at Carolina Softball Stadium as the South Carolina Gamecocks return to SEC play to take on the 20th ranked Tigers of Missouri. It's Columbia East and Columbia West. That's gonna get through, that's gonna score one. Bozel is gonna hold up at third. Drotar makes the turn at first and she'll stay there. A run across here early. That ball is driven deep to left field and out of here. It's a three run homer for South Carolina's Jordan Fabian, her third of the season. And South Carolina, boy, the bats have come alive early in this ball game. And if you're Kayla Jotar, you want to go back to that drop ball. It was working, working extremely well in the beginning of the game. That's a change up right there. That's going to be trouble. That's a gapper. One is in. Here comes another and rounding third and heading for home and sliding into third safely. Wow, how about that? Cassidy Shomo with a triple that brings in three runs and it's a one run game now. That could score a run as it gets away and we are tied. As Shomo comes home and it's a tie game as four runs are in now for Missouri here in the third. The second time through in any Power Five conference, any really competitive softball, hitters make adjustments. They, they know what you throw and they make adjustments to that. That's a fair ball and Missouri will take the lead is coming home to score is Emma Robbie. Runners on first and second with two outs. That was a good piece of two out hitting there by Abby George to take that first pitch. And that could be trouble. Nicely done by Laird and they've got South Carolina hung up to dry possibly here. Here's the tag out, so a double play to get out of the inning. Great play there by Jenna Laird up the middle, getting the ball at second base and then having the heads up that she was taking a turn off a of third base. Great defensive set there by the Missouri Tigers. But I think you're gonna see as this third time of the order comes through that Coach Smith might make Good might throw make an home, adjustment. but safe. Just beating the throw from Aaliyah White I was going to say Bettenball was going to hope for the comebacker, but she got it, but a good piece of running there. Excellent job by Hattie Moore to come in and score. Bettenball did a nice job right there of fielding her spot, but she looked the runner back at third base, and she still chose to go to first base with that throw, and I think she might have had her hung up between third and home on that plate. Well hit ball, deep left field, but tracking it down is Katie Preble. And the run comes in, tagging on the play, Kim Work. It's Wilmez, then Laird and Moore. Laird and Moore has really done some damage today. That ball is hit well to right and out of here. Wilmez with a home run, a solo shot to lead off the Missouri fifth. Right back to the pitcher. Vaughn's going to throw to third, but safely back. Now they've got the runner at second. Now they've got the runner from third trying to come back home. Oh, it gets past the South Carolina defender there. Oh, my goodness. As Gallagher unable to hold on, and Missouri will get the run across. So they've done all this in, in the last four innings. Here's another hit. That's going to drive in two runs as Missouri had the bases loaded and taking advantage of it. Jenna Laird, and you can just look at Laird's uniform and tell she had a good night. And there'll be a chance for Bailey to end the inning as she flips it underneath to Emma Robbie at first. And Missouri leads 13 to four. Actually, that's going to be it. That's the final, yeah. That's, that's, that's the final there. 13 to four win, Missouri. 15 hits for the Tigers, just eight for the Gamecocks.